Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Olivier and Alima. Today I'm going to show you how to do a scalable design using Affinity Designer and Affinity Publisher. Let's get right into it. Strong. First of all, welcome. If it's your first time, my name is Oliver and I'm bringing you tips and tricks on how to succeed with Mesh by Amazon or any other print on demand. Scalable designs are very important. I would say scalable phrases because we need to find a phrase that we can use in many niches. And what we're gonna do is to change a portion of this phrase uh, with all OBs or animal, etc. To, in order to check what niche will sell. What you will need first is the code. So I found that the code that says my dog thinks I'm cool is very interesting because if I go to Amazon and I change the zip code here for a US zip code and I type in my dog thinks I'm cool you can see that people are typing it but dog is very broad okay so what we're gonna do is to change the, my, the dog by every single breed of dogs for example my German Shepherd is cool or my husky thinks I'm cool etc okay so what I did here is start a, uh, to create a bit of design you have the my ear and this one's gonna be the breed and then thinks I'm cool here that I wrote okay what is important when you want to do scalable design using Affinity Designer, you have to make sure that the text that you would like to change, you are going to use here the frame text tool, okay? This is the frame text tool. Do not use the artistic text tool, it won't work. What you have to use is to choose the text frame tool, okay? And you format it, uh, for example here I want, I choose the, the font and then I'm gonna center it, align center, and everything else will stay the same. Okay, I may need to adjust the position of these uh, things I'm called depending on the length of the breed, but I'm gonna show you how, how, how I'm doing it. So, as I said, I'm gonna use the, the dog breed. So, I have a list here of dog breeds. We have 511 breeds. So, basically, I'm gonna create 500. And 11 design. If you want to find the dog breeds, simply go to Google. Okay, and you type in dog breed list, dog breeds list, and you can say Wikipedia for example, just to make things easier. With Wikipedia, we will find everything. And I think this is the one that I used, and you copy and paste into your sheet. By the way, the sheet that I'm using right now is called LibreOffice. I'm gonna type in for you here so you can use. It's a free uh, version of uh, of Excel, Word, etc. So it's called LibreOffice. Uh, so if you don't know it, it is a free version of Excel. Pretty much everything that Excel is doing, it's it, it's done is doing as well, and it is free. So once you have your dog list here, what I'm gonna do? Next step, I'm going to add the length of each word here, okay? So equal, I'm going to type in equal length and tap enter because I want to sort, I want to create a design based on the length of each word, okay? Because as you can see, we have, we have breeds that are very short and we have breeds that are very long and so on. For example, American English uh, corn hound here. Now I'm going to add the I'm gonna filter and I'm gonna sort ascending to descending as you can see we have very small uh, breed here birds and so on so basically what I'm gonna do here let's check uh, let's take one that contains a lot of number for example the 14th 14th here I'm gonna do it just for the sake of this video just to, not to make the video long but basically what you're gonna do is to do is to is to group everything which is like for example 14 here you can you can you can do everything together or why not even 14 and 15 ok 
okay so i'll copy the, all the uh, 15 and 16. And what i'm gonna do basically i'm gonna save as i'm gonna create uh, open a new a new sheet a new and uh, the spreadsheet here yeah? i'm gonna copy those one and i'm gonna paste them here okay I can remove this uh, column, it's not useful for now. And I'm gonna save it. Now what you're gonna do, when I click on File, and Edit and Publisher, basically you will need Publisher as well. Okay? Once you have the Publisher open, you're gonna click on Document and Data Merge Manager. Okay, this will open this box. Control Z. I'm gonna just move the design on this layer so you can see. Now you're gonna click on here, add data merge so in my document. We're gonna call it we're gonna open the file that we just saved. 15 letter dog read. Okay. So I have it like that. I'm gonna double click on the text. I'm gonna click on Preview with record. Okay. And I'm gonna come down on the field tab that we have right there. And click on this one. American Gamper. And I double click on this one. Now if I change it, you're gonna see bearded collie, border terrier, Boston terrier, boy skin, and so on. So you can see that automatically it change or add depending on the dog breed okay of course you can change the font if you find out that this font is not really what you are looking or if you have some letter that are overlapping etc okay so this is what you have to do Maybe I'm gonna change the font here. So by doing that, you can see that we have all now the dog breed here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the background, I think which is the last layer here. Okay, and the next step is to simply generate. You click on generate the data mesh shows uploaded you click on yes and simply as that you have your design created the last thing that remains is simply to export everything click on the file click on export you're gonna call it you can leave it as untitled okay i'm gonna show you a trick on how to uh, how to rename automatically so you click on that and click on save then you wait for it to export the item so it took approximately two minutes to generate all the design and as you can see we have everything so now you can just review your design and they are ready to upload just make sure that everything is well aligned and so on now, as, as I said, you have all the design here that, as you can see, they are on title one and title two and so on. So I don't really want that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, show you a trick on how you can rename the, the, your design using a command, a command on the window. Okay. So what you're going to do right now, let me open it just, the formula is simple. First of all, you're gonna type in on your command to have the command prompt, okay? You're gonna go to your folder, to the folder where your design are. For example, for me, it's this one, document matched by Amazon Scalable Design and so on. So I'm gonna copy the address without the Kumu, Kumo, because it's already there. And I I'm gonna type in CD and paste that and enter. This means that I'm working on this folder right now. So what you're gonna do is pretty simple. First of all, you're gonna go to, the, to your folder. You're gonna copy all your design. Okay, I click on the first one 
till the last one. Now I keep shift pressed on my keyboard and I right click and I can see copy as path. I'm gonna copy that. I'll go to my Excel sheet. I'm gonna paste it here. Paste special formatted value. Okay. As you can see, it brought all the design with the name and title one and so on. But I don't need the last part here. So I'm gonna copy until after the things I'm cool. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go to edit. I'm gonna select the column A and I'm gonna click on edit and then find and replace. I'm gonna replace everything that by nothing. Replace all. So basically it will keep only the name of the file okay now i want the file to be named according to the dog breed what i'm gonna do for this stuff because we have a space here it is important to not have spaces so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna um, insert here a line i call it dog breed Okay, I'm gonna filter. Not really to filter, but what I'm gonna do basically, I'm gonna select column A again, and I'm gonna go to, go to edit again, find and replace. Now I'm gonna ask the system to replace any blank space by another line, for example this one, and then replace all. Okay. Now these are these are all the dog breed. And since it's in order, I'm gonna copy, go to sheet two. So this one's gonna be the dog breed. So basically what I want is for example, the file of Untitled uh, One to be renamed Armenian Gamper. And if I go to my design, you can see that in, in reality, the, um, the Untitled One is called Armenian Gamper and so on. So and for example if i take the 58 design 58 here it's no bottle pets and effectively it's here if no bottle pets i tap in concatenate and then to india to us run the formula for to rename okay Close, select Untitled One. I want to rename it to, but I have to add a space first. Armenian, comma, again, dot PNG. I close, I close the bracket. So here is the formula. I want to rename Untitled One. I want to rename Untitled One to Armenian Grumper .png. And I expand the formula. And I'll copy it. Go to my command and paste it. And that's it. If I go back to my folder, you can see that all my files now have a name. You can see American Eskimo on top here, Beagle Area, Border Collie, Border Terrier, and so on. Plumber Terrier, and so on. So, easy like that. I rename all the file. Now I'm ready to upload them to Amazon. So that's it for today. If you find any value, please like and subscribe and for any further video. Thank you and have a nice day.